Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. In this tutorial, I'll show you the application of contour extraction to extract text characters from images. So let's get started. I have already created a project and I configured to use EMGU CV 3.3. Let me add a new Windows form and name it form character segmentation for you and let me quickly design it the first thing that you really need to do is to include these few lines emgu emgu.cv and using emgu.cv.struct and for keeping the points in it cv dot cv util that is okay I'm going to create an image of type BGR and depth byte, I call it IMG input, okay. And now I read this image using the open file dialog. Open file dialog equals new open file dialog and just show this open file dialog to the user and if he selects an image then it should the dialog result will be equal to dialog result okay so let me read this image into img input and in the constructor i pass the file path selected by the user so i'll display it in picture box one dot image equals img input dot bit me that's fine the next thing is I want to do the character segmentation and to do that first I need to do the contour extraction and I am expecting a binary image so I'll create a gray image of type byte I call it IMG output and I'm going to create the convert this input image into first grayscale image and then apply the binary thresholding minimize say the gray value for example is 50 and uh, if the value is greater than that replace it with 255 this will give me a binary image right and then i need a vector of vector of points to and call it contours to hold the contours uh, that is written by the emg and let me create a mat object, call it M or hierarchy to, uh, to that will contain the higher information about the hierarchy of these contours, although I'll not use it right here. Finally, I'll use find contours, sorry, dot find contours, and this will uh, require an image followed by the contours object to all those contour information and then hierarchy and uh, I want to use this external retrieval type and a chain approximation to be uh, just simple chain approximation so now I got these contours what I need to do next is I want to find all the contours their corresponding bounding rectangles and then 
using those con bounding rectangles I want to crop the image and display the results so the first thing I will make sure that contours has at least one element in it and then loop through all those contours contours dot size and then I need to obtain the rectangle that so the CV invoke has a function bounding rectangle and here it is expecting the contours so I am passing the contours and the index it I mean I'm I'm getting contour one by one and for each contour I'm finding the rectangle and assign it to the rectangle rect object the next thing that I want now I have a rectangle I want to crop the input image and uh, display that so for to do that the simplest thing is I need to set the region of interest to be the rectangle now the next thing is very interesting and, and this for loop is executing and we cannot update our user interface so we need to do some sort of uh, synchronous uh, asynchronous uh, technique over here so if you are not familiar with this maybe you can check it but it's very simple let me create simply a bitmap I call it IMG and instead of calling this method I want to call it asynchronously so now what it will make it, it interesting is then img equals img input dot copy and then convert it into a bitmap and once I do this input dot roi equals to tango dot empty okay now it is done the first the, the the first thing that I need to do is to call this what we call it dot invalidate okay and uh, what it will do is the force this form to rewrite its graphics and also one thing that we need to do await task dot delay it will wait for 500 milliseconds so this will allow this thread to work on the user interface update and then come back and continue this for loop so this is a sort of uh, asynchronous programming trick and for simplicity and to make sure that everything goes smoothly i call it show equals to false the last thing that i need to do is go to the form and properties and in events we have a paint event here i will check if show equals equals true then i can show that picture box 2 dot image equals to img that this is the global um, variable that i have created for this class and also i need to make sure that show equals to true and once it comes out of this loop show is equals to false okay now let's run this file open and then select the image then segmentation so you can see here we are displaying one character at a time so what it is doing is now it's up to the up to you how you can utilize this once we have segmented the characters maybe we can pass these characters into an OCR system for recognition however uh, it depends on your uh, application what you want to do let me review what I have done so far this is just I uh, generated a binary image by first converting the RGB image into 
uh, a grayscale image and then I performed a, a complement operation that is the knot operation so that the white pixels are converted into black and black into white because the image that I was uh, selecting uh, had black uh, text pixels and white background and this contour is to hold the contour information this is for hierarchical then cv invoke that find control basically takes an input image that we want to find the contours for and it gives us the contours and these are the rest of the parameters that are important then i made sure that the contours there are at least one contour available and then i loop through all contours just to show you i loop to 10 contours and there are many characters in the image so you can use this uh, contours dot size over here and then for every contour I found their bounding rectangle and uh, I use that rectangle as a region of interest for the input image so that I crop or copy that uh, image only the, that region of interest and convert it into a bitmap and assign it to an img which is a global variable for this class and then i set this roi of the input image to be empty so that it will be a whole image now this start invalidate forces the form to redraw its graphics why i am doing it is i want to show every character and then wait for 500 milliseconds this will allow the user interface to be updated this is something that is related to asynchronous programming and then this function is called whenever we call this invalidate on the form and once we invalidate the form we check that the show is true which we set over here and then uh, we display the current character in our image picture box too i hope this video is useful for you and hope to see you in the next video